But first, Simon Morrison is about to dish all the latest gossip. My name is Simon Morrison, I'm the editor of Ministry in Ibiza magazine and I've been given the auspicious job of stepping into Danny Clockwork's shoes and boy do they stink. So I'll be bringing you the gossip and the news from the White Isle this week. Allegedly, the king of Cana DJs, Derek Delars, found his passport and has made his way onto the Isle of Ibiza. He was here apparently about five minutes before getting to his first punch-up, ably assisted by muscly DJ David Morales, who leapt out from behind the decks to help him out, as if he needed any help. Posh Bice is out last week singing her new track, Out of Your Mind. Fish, pash, posh, everyone's a winner. Yep, except if you have to pay for it. There's entourage of over 20, and one of the villas alone cost over £6,000 for one night, and included its own disco. Bill, an estimated £70,000. Ouch! Believe it or not, aside from the pissheads of San Antonio, Ibiza is also popular with people who can read. We spotted Irvin Welsh, the baldy Scottish author of Trainspotting, right here in Ibiza town. He was absolutely trousered. He kept walking around, introducing himself as Alex, and telling everyone he just got off the plane and was still finding his feet, whatever that means. The villa of DJ Tall Paul was recently burgled. The tall fella lost pretty much everything he had over here, including his wife's not inconsiderable stash of jewellery. He also thinks people have been watching his villa to see when he left. So all you rich DJ types, you beware. Spotted lost in space and a little worse for wear were Jamiroquai's JK, along with his missus Denise Van Outen and Mad Frit Noel Gallagher. Now, Mr Mad Frit seems pretty taken with Ibiza, his second home is here, and he was spotted later on at DC10 dancing with an inflatable doll. Does Meg know you're out? So that was the hot news from Ibiza this week. Catch up next week. Manny might be back, I might be back. Who knows?